Happy New Year! Oh my goodness, this is gonna be my first video of the year and it's very fitting because this type of video has gained so many views, so many more views than normal and I'm so excited to be back at it again. So let's go ahead and get started. Happy New Year. I hope you guys had a nice holiday break or maybe just a quick, you know, Christmas New Year celebration. I took a week long break from YouTube, social media, and it's such a good feeling to just really focus and do nothing and not worry. All I did was constant movie nights with family. So it was just a nice, simple break. We didn't really do anything. We did go watch the lights like some holiday lights in our downtown area. And you know, I woke up every day feeling like, eh, I don't really wanna film, but today I woke up and I was like, oh, I'm so excited to get back on this. So let's get started. Scentbird versus Scentbox Showdown. We've done this before. Um, this video has garnered over 2,000 views on my channel. And for a small channel like me, that's a lot. Um, and it's so uplifting to me that my video has reached that many people. So I'm just glad and happy. As you can see here, you might be wondering, I have a bunch of scent box envelopes. And this is all because of you guys. I am so thankful and grateful for all the views that my video has gotten and the referrals that you guys have used on my channel. And in return, it got me a month supply of the scent box. And so I have all of these and more are coming. And wow, I just, I just couldn't thank Scentbox enough because that's a great referral program, Scentbox. I mean, it's not because I'm a YouTuber. Anyone who is a subscriber of Scentbox can have their own referral link and earn their free supply of perfumes. I've been able to give some to my mom, to my friends, to my family, and, um, and there's more coming. And so this video is also a giveaway. Stay tuned at the end of this video to find out what the giveaway is all about. Hint, hint. <laughs> if you're new to my channel and haven't watched the Scentbird versus Scentbox um, perfume showdown, please go ahead and watch that video because it, it's a really detailed, in-depth review of the two subscription boxes, and I tell you which of the two I prefer more. Both Scentbird and Scentbox are perfume subscription. They're $14.95 a month, and that gives you an 8 ml or 30-day supply of the perfume of your choice. They come with an atomizer during your first month, but Scentbox sends you a new atomizer every single month. So I think that is an amazing deal. I was thinking, oh yeah, they'll send me an atomizer each month, but it's gonna be like the black color. No, I've gotten a red, I've gotten a gold from all of the referrals. Definitely, it's such a fun experience to get these different color atomizers each month. Scentbird, however, sends you one atomizer during your first month subscription, and then that's it. So for subsequent months, they send you just a vial of perfume here with the name of the perfume minus the really cute atomizer. So that's the only kind of, I feel like the advantage that Scentbox has over Scentbird. You can pause your subscriptions anytime. I've paused mine for budget reasons. I pause mine every other month. Although in the time that I paused my subscription, all the referrals were coming in. So I was getting all these free perfumes um, and atomizers at my door. So I'm so, so thankful. So yeah, you can pause it and also you can cancel anytime. So if you feel like, eh, I've tried it for one month, I'm good now, I don't need any more perfumes, then that is your choice. You can cancel without any fees. For my second month, Scentbird arrived in the mail and it arrived in this nice, pretty bubble wrap packaging. It has the Scentbird logo right there. And inside is a card. And at first I thought, oh my gosh, it's an atomizer. Nope, it's a fake atomizer. <laughs> it's like a cardboard box which carries the perfume vial. So this is what I'm supposed to replace 
my old perfume with. Um, and so I'm supposed to put this one and this month I got the Salvatore Ferragamo Encanto Charms. So that's the name of the perfume. So I put it back in, close it, and now I have my Scentbird refill for the second month. Now, the only thing is, what am I supposed to do with this, <laughs> right? I guess I can put it in this vial here. So it's not too, too bad. And if each month I get this kind of cardboard cylinder kind of um, container, then I guess I can safely put all of my other vials of perfume in here, which I kind of don't mind. It does come with a card. So it has the Salvatore Ferragamo Encanto Charms. This is the perfume bottle. What I love about Scentbird, guys, is that it comes with a card that has the information of the scent that you received. For this one, it has passion fruit, honeysuckle, rose, jasmine, and musk. So very floral. This second round of subscription, I actually picked um, perfumes that I've never tried before, but I felt like I would like, which are like florals and beachy and fresh scents. This is definitely right up my alley. It says here, Encanto Charms features top notes of subtle brushed passion fruit, slender green honeysuckle that fade into a floral whisper of elegantly spiced Turkish roses and silvery jasmine, comfy woods, and bright musk. Oh, I love that I got these two from my scent bird. Very informational. We're gonna smell this in a sec. But first, let's go to scent box next. So, scent box last month, I've got a cute little square box which contained this atomizer and the perfume in it. It was nice packaging, but to me, I personally felt like it was a bit much. Like maybe it's um too bulky for packaging well this second month around i got this nice scent box box <laughs> and it contained this new atomizer and the perfume that i chose it's red it's like perfect for the holidays this was the december month so i think all the scent box atomizers were red so it's so nice that they were able to do that i love that the colors change with the seasons i hope it does but you know this time we got red and so i'm really excited i think for the new year we might even get gold who knows that's just what i think because i gotten some gold atomizers from my referral box this box came in the, one of these bubble envelopes like these so it's very pretty definitely packaged safely and inside you had the card we got the card and the packing slip, so I'm not gonna show you that. So we got the card and the box with the atomizer. The only thing though is that scent box doesn't have the information of the scent that you ordered. So that's the only thing. Scent box, since you're printing front and back anyway, maybe one of the sides could be all about my perfume. Cause sometimes I forget like, which one did I order? What does it smell like? What are the notes again, right? Um, instead, this card contains the scent of the month. So it's like a preview of either next month's scents or the current scent. So I got the scent Dolce & Gabbana in the scent The One. I am amazed that for the same price, Scentbox is able to give us a new atomizer each month, which is amazing. Um, the quality is just as good. I want to say Scentbird is a tad, just a tad bit heavier. This is not to say that Scentbird only has one color of atomizer. They have tons of different colors, but it is an extra charge. Okay, so before we smell the scents, um, in case you're wondering what's on my face, maybe not, but I'll tell you anyway. <laughs> I went bold because it's New Year's, come on. I decided to pull out my Dominique Cosmetics Celestial Thunder um, palette, which I received in my BoxyCharm box um, a long time ago. I used the um, purpley black one right here. And on my crease, I used the Natasha Denona mini palette. 
um it's so dirty this is the mini lila palette in case you love purples these two are very beautiful i also use laura geller an oldie but a goodie but actually this is my first time using laura geller highlight um hmm. is it a highlighter though <laughs> it says caramel glow illuminator i think it's a little too dark for me i don't know if you can see it i did put it on my cheeks but i did top it again with my tarte highlighter because i wasn't satisfied with the glow i need that glow glow i got my laura geller in my advent box um i think that's my qvc advent calendar box if you guys haven't seen that it's a must definitely for next year you can be on the lookout for that it's an amazing value okay let's go ahead and smell these i've never tried the ferragamo or any ferragamo scent before is that how you pronounce it i don't know correct me if i'm wrong and i've never tried any dolce and gabbana scents i've probably sprayed it on myself a long time ago like just browsing through the perfume aisles but honestly i've never tried them start with scentbird this is the ferragamo in con Encanto, Encanto Charms, Encanto Charms. It has passion fruit, honeysuckle, so I'm guessing it's gonna be sweet. It has rose and jasmine. I definitely love all of those scents. Is that how you do it? You just wave. <laughs> oh! From afar, I'm already loving the scent. If you've seen my previous video, I almost choked on one of the scents because it was so strong. But this one, I've inhaled it, I've smelled it, it went through my mouth, and it's not uncomfortable. It's fruity, but not sweet. It's fruity, but fresh. Oh my gosh, I need to get this for you guys. I seriously need to order more of these. I think I smelled the the passion fruit the musk definitely gives it that mature punch it prevents it from being too sweet smelling you know what i mean oh really good this is hard to beat this is going to be hard to beat okay from scent box i got the dolce and gabbana v1 it looks like it's citrusy it's got peaches it's got it has the floral sporty evening fall scent i would definitely describe this as a day scent daytime beach out in the open sunny fresh this one is described as a nighttime perfume so we'll see how it goes on this Okay, let's read about this. The one is an enchanting, sensual, feminine scent with a twist of freshness that magnifies the keynote of lilies. Yep, the lilies. It has bergamot, lychee, white peach heart, jasmine, and ilang ilang. For those of you who don't know, I'm born and raised in the Philippines, and so I haven't been back in a long time. What reminded me of Ilang Ilang, this fl flower, is that one of my friends who work at a hotel hooked me up on one of my vacations there and booked me at one of the best hotels there. The buffet restaurant in that hotel was called Ilang Ilang or something like that. I can't remember exactly. My cousin Nohezi, if you're watching this, correct me in the comments. Oh! It just brings me back to my childhood oh my gosh both scents are so good guys okay yes and i love that this is called like the nighttime scent it is so good definitely up my alley um a lot of people are gonna love this again both are floral fresh scented but ah uh, it's one of those perfumes that doesn't give me a headache it's like you truly took a whiff of these flowers you know when it's natural and there's nothing like alcoholic this month guys i have to say it's a tie scent bird versus scent box the perfumes they sent me is a tie obviously this is my personal preference my personal profile when it comes to the scents that i like but if you're that type of person that likes um floral fresh scents with a tad 
just a tad bit of musk. Oh! Both of these are so good. I highly recommend the Salvatore Fer Ferragamo Encanto Charms perfume and the Dolce and Gabbana, the one. And I think Dolce and Gabbana might be the cheaper of the two because Ferragamo is usually a very luxury, luxe, luxe brand. Now, if you're wondering where should I subscribe to, Scentbird or Scentbox, definitely watch my first video. I break it down for you, the pros and the cons for each membership for each type of companies. So definitely watch that in case you're curious. I'll link it down below in the description box and also up in the cards here. I do have a referral link for both Scentbird and Scentbox. I'll put it in the comments and also in the description below. So definitely check that out. For my Scentbox referral, it saves you 35% off your first month's subscription. So it's only gonna be $9.72 instead of the usual $14.95 a month. Um, so that's only for your first month, but at least you get that discount using my referral code. Scentbird, Referral, there is a holiday deal going on with Scentbird. Um, gets you 40% off their normal monthly subscription. So that gets you $8.97 for the your first month subscription. My referral link, I'm not sure that it gets you that because I thought it was only like around 25 to 30% off with my referral link. But right now they have a deal going on on their website. So check that out first. Now for my giveaway, guys, I have a mini New Year's giveaway. You get three, three guys, three scent box perfumes. It's all of the perfumes that I love, which are floral. So if you are into that, definitely enter this giveaway. All you have to do is mention your favorite perfume scent. Write it down in the comments below and then put enter me. So if you wanna win three months supplies worth of scent box perfumes, definitely enter my giveaway. All you have to do is be subscribed to my channel, like this video, and be subscribed to my Instagram. And I'll write my Instagram here, Terry's Corner. Follow me there. And the winner is going to be announced in my Instagram post. So definitely be on the lookout for that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, like, and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I post videos once a week on skincare and beauty reviews, as well as some unboxings here and there. So definitely stick around, join the family. You guys have a happy new year. Let's make it a good one. Have a great rest of your day and I'll definitely see you back in my corner soon. Bye!